Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Patrick here from Morbus Overlanding. Uh, I got another video today for you and uh, it'll come as a big shock, I know, but it's on lights, sort of. It's on light mounts. If you've been following my build for a while, you've seen I'm using the SMK ditch light mounts and I really, really like them. I like them because they're down off the side. You don't get glare off the windshield. Um, they're not in your view like the hood mount lights are. There's just a lot of things I really like about the SMK brackets. Uh, and that's why I abandoned my own design and adopted the, uh, the SMKs. Uh, Steve does a great job. He's a great guy. Uh, small business like myself. So yeah, just everything about them I really like. So when I got these uh, almost a year ago, I had a really short time frame between when I got them and when I was leaving for uh, my winter trip, if you followed that at all on my uh, YouTube from last fall. So I didn't really have time to do an install video. So I'm going to do it today, sort of. What I'm going to show you today, I actually did a few days ago, um, but I had a set of dark defense lights in this position, and I switched them out for a new set of the Morimoto 4 bangers. Both lights are great. Um, I like them both. Uh, but I'm going to run these here for a while uh, and give them a give them a good shot. I'll share more about the Morimoto stuff uh, into the future too. But in in doing so, and in doing the installation, because the wiring runs down through here, I had to almost take the brackets off anyway. So it gave me a perfect opportunity to do the light swap and then show you how the installation is done. So it's not a from scratch installation, but it covers all of the basics. And I think it'll help if you're looking at these, you be comfortable knowing that this is really pretty easy to do uh, and gives you this really clean install with the hidden wires down into the engine bay. Don't be intimidated by it. It's a couple bolts, it's super simple, and the end result is super clean. What you're going to see, we're going to jump into the video here now. Uh, what you're going to see is me remove the, the bracket, loosen it up, take the dark defense light off, put the Mori motor light back on, put it all back together. And I'll talk about all the aspects of that install. So, yeah, let's get to it, huh? Okay, so in my case, we're going to start out with the removal of this light. Now, and I'll get into this when I show you the installation piece, but because the wire currently is all back behind here, I can't fully remove this yet. So real carefully it's going to let that light hang you could put something behind it if you're worried about it scratching so i'm going to remove just this one uh, which is a number four hex this one i'll show you in a minute this one we don't need to remove for the light swap but obviously if you're doing a new installation we have to get that one on that one's a little tricky because that one actually does not mount to a threaded piece on on the uh, panel so you have to put a bolt in there and uh, I'll show you that here in just a minute but since I'm just doing the swap I'm going to take this out a little bit more there we go okay so that's loose now you can see then to remove the rest of the, or well not remove it, but to loosen the rest of this piece so I can get behind it for the wiring, there is a nut right up here under the cowling, or bolt, I guess it's a bolt. So this piece we're gonna just kind of 
pop loose over to the side and that exposes this nut right here. Exposes this nut right here. So that nut is a 10 millimeter and we're just gonna remove that. And then that is kind of the, between this nut and this here, that's the two kind of top supports for this fender. So then the fender will have some flexibility. We can get it to our wiring in there. There, so that just comes right off. And with that removed, you will see we've got some play here. So the wire, one of the things I really like about this SMK bracket and using this is the wire, once we pop it out of the bracket here, the wire runs real nicely down inside of this fender and let the open the hood to get to the other end. Now before I put the other light on, I want to get in here and hopefully you can see maybe over here okay so you can see down in there there's that bolt so that bolt is the back side to this other allen key here so that's the only kind of tricky part when you're putting these on new you need to get a, a wrench back there to hold that bolt while you screw this one on. So that's where unhooking this bolt here so you can pull this fender back works really well. Because then what, what I had done is I got a wrench that basically followed this kind of curve down a little bit here. Actually, I think it went up here, came up to like here. And I could kind of hold that there and then that held that bolt while I did, you know, the Allen, the hex key uh, there to get that one installed. So that was, that's really the only tricky spot about installing these uh, brackets. Otherwise, you know, you're, you're, and there's instructions included, but you pull the, the plastic piece off here, remove a bolt, and then, you know, this goes on and uses those spots. But then what's so clean about these, like you saw when I took the other light off, is he's got a little bracket here for the wire to go in. And then the wire, as long as you're down low enough, kind of in this area, the wire can hide right in here and come up in your engine bay. So the, the wiring is super simple. Almost as easy as wiring, you know, the, the lights that go off your uh, hood bracket. You know, those obviously are really simple because they're in um, literally in your hood and uh, in the engine bay but these are a pretty easy installation I really like the installation and the location of the lights here versus uh, the hood if you've been following along with me for a while you you may have noticed or I may have mentioned that uh, previously I was even working on my own brackets because I didn't like the way some of the other companies' brackets were done. And then one of my buddies picked these up and after seeing those, you know, I kind of fell in love with uh, Steve's design here. Uh, so these are available on, on my website if you're interested. Now it's worth noting, if you are doing this with the Morimoto lights, uh, which are definitely a great light for this location, 
the, they send two bolts, uh, nuts and bolts, with the bracket. And neither of them really fit this application. So if you're like me, I have cases and cases of quarter 20 bolts of various lengths just kicking around, so it's not a big deal. Uh, if you don't, you might want to just get a set from your local hardware store. Because uh, what they give with the, the bracket is one of them is way too long for this application. Uh, if it's going through a light bar or something, it makes more sense. The other one's the diameter is too big for the hole in the SMK. So quarter 20, um, you know, this one I would say is probably a 3 8 to uh, maybe a three quarter of an inch, you know, with a lock nut. So that's what I'm going to be using here uh, to mount these up. Okay, now that I've got the light, the bracket and everything assembled, we're going to go ahead and mount this up. So here's one of these kind of chicken egg scenarios, right? Uh, once I mount the light, I can't get to this bolt real easily to close it up but I need it open in order to do my wire management and get the wire in there. So what I'm going to end up doing, uh, like before, is kind of hanging the light after I do my wiring and then I'll kind of pick it up. So I'm gonna get the light up into here. Um, this tail is a little bit shorter than the tail that came on my previous light. So I'm gonna have to fish this uh, up a little bit further. I can already tell uh, it's gonna be too close. So I'm gonna get that done. Once I have the wire through, I'll button this one up, get this bolt back in, and then the light will go on. So, having that run through now, you can see everything, when I push on it here in the back in the positions, everything is back real flush um, where it should be. If the wire, if your wire is up where you know, it's getting hit, obviously you're, you're not gonna be able to close these up. You know, you'll get a pop here, uh, you'll get a pop here. So, this, as long as your wiring is all down, down into this area down here, then everything closes right back up. Real clean, simple, and uh, gives you back that whole uh, factory look on the side. So I'm going to get my wire locked in here to the little wire guy that Steve provides on the bracket. Which it's a little tough. In fact, it, maybe it'll be better to do once I got the light on. Uh, no, I'm not sure that will be. There. But well, once it's in, now that mounted, gets it that really nice, clean uh, look. And that's what we want. So, before I attach that light, I'm going to get this screw and I'm going to get that bolt in and get the fender locked back into location. This bolt, I think, is easier to get on with the uh, hood down. So when we're, we're done in the hood, So that's good to go. Mm. 
ഒന്നുമില്ല ഒന്ന് Good and tight doesn't need to be crazy tight. You know, don't snap anything, but nice and tight there. And then, last but not least. to do some fine tuning on my aiming uh, this evening the way that I like them to be aimed though is kind of around this angle um, I do a lot of traveling on rural roads here in uh, West Michigan out in the country so where I primarily end up using these are for uh, deer uh, coming and going from the fields a lot of a lot of people with ditch lights You know, they'll bring them way out here and shine them way off to the side. Oh, and that works too. But at highway speed, I like to have them a little bit more forward facing. Um, so these are pretty close, but I'll do some aiming with them uh, tonight after dark. And last but not least, as you clean, clean up from your installation, make sure that you uh, get your cowl piece of plastic uh, put back on here so you've got a uh, this little snap so you can see slides in here and then these just snap up so it's real easy to take off real easy to put on it's more a bugger just to get it lined up there we go and then doop snaps right in place Hey, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you aren't already, consider subscribing to my channel and uh, giving my video a like. Hope to see you on the trail sometime.